what's up everybody welcome back to sports and sneakers i got another video for you guys today today is a combined video this is going to be part vlog and my unboxing for the week it's going to be like this for this week and the next week i believe the uploads will be on friday today and also next week friday after that back to the regular schedule of thursdays and saturdays today i guess you guys get a little behind the scenes look uh kind of at uh the setup but today it is a different angle for a reason and that reason is i forgot my tripod at the gym that i train at so i forgot my tripod but more importantly to me i did not want to be late on uploading this video so i'm doing what i can right now i've been super busy with a lot of stuff i got a lot of stuff coming up i got my daughter's first birthday coming up i got a new job that i'm starting next week I've been working on some shoes, I've been practicing some stuff, I'm in a shoe customization class, and I'm training for a fight, hopefully training for two fights, but one at a time. But Evan, why would we give a shit? Why would we care? Well, you probably wouldn't care, but for those of you who do care, that's what's up, that's what's been going on with me. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be playing around with a little customization. I'm going to be doing an aging effect on the midsole of this Jordan 1 that I have, and then after that's done, I'm going to see how it looks. And then I'm going to decide if I want to do the corduroy panels here. I'm going to be using this sneaker stainer that I just bought from Foxtrot Uniform in the cream colorway. So I'm excited to do this and I want to see how these are going to look with it. I think they're going to look dope with the blue and the aged, aged yellow cream look. I finished the midsole. And then I decided to do these corduroy panels. And I think it came out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Now, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to attempt to do just the stitching. Because when I did do the quarter panels, some of it, if you guys can see, did get on the leather there. Which I don't mind. There's videos I've seen of aging services or aging effects on shoes. And they go through some of the panels, like the back panel. They go over the stitching, but it ends up going on like the outline of the panel. So it looks like it's on the panel of the shoe. So I don't mind that. Not at all. Looks pretty uh, creamy to me. Does look a little orange at the midsole. So maybe I'll just touch that up a little bit. Especially like right here. Maybe take some off. But overall this looks good to me. Looks clean. With the right laces. Looks clean. Yesterday I wasted probably like an hour. But I was taking the sneaker stainer. And I took some of the liquid. And I put it into a ballpoint pen and i was attempting to put it in the pen so that way i can get a finer tip or finer point to use just so i can just get the stitches that's it i don't want to do the whole panels i want to attempt to do just like the stitchings outline so that was a waste because the pen didn't end up working i cleared all the ink out of it and it just didn't work i guess it didn't flow through or something i don't know what happened so i ordered this beforehand it's a dye pen from Angelus and it has a finer tip as you guys can see that so I'm gonna attempt to use this and I, I already put the dye in it I'm gonna let it flow through a little bit more by pushing it down but we're gonna attempt this so I'm gonna turn some music on and we're gonna get this cracking I'm gonna try to freehand these spots. I think there's a little, a couple. I think there's a couple right there. I know there's some on this side. So I'll start on this side. 
I'm going to try to freehand like those little orange spots down there. So wish me luck. Now, if you're here for the unboxing, here it is, what you came here for. It's not much of an unboxing, but this is a custom sneaker that I've been working on, just a small customization. I'm slowly working my way into customizing shoes. I love that aged vintage look, so I went with an aged vintage look. And for all you guys who are haters on Jordan mids, right here. I fuck with mids, I fuck with lows, I fuck with highs. I don't really like highs, but I still fuck with them. This is a Jordan 1 mid. I know a lot of people hate on mids and don't fuck with them, but I love this. I love the tongue. The tongue is corduroy. You guys can see that. Tongue is corduroy. The panels back here are corduroy. The little window right here, corduroy. This was all white, except for the blue wings logo, the blue Jordan on the back. I don't really like that Jordan on the back, but there's not much I could do about it. But I did an aging effect on the midsole. If you guys can see that. I did the corduroy. I also did the stitching on the shoe. If you guys can see the stitching. I colored the stitches throughout the shoe. You guys may have seen it in the process before. And then I had to go throw those cream laces on. I'm loving cream. I fucking love cream, tan, brown, mocha. I love it. Sale. So I'm going to throw some pictures up that I took of these. Definitely stick around till the end of the video for those. But this was definitely a fun one. Like I said, I love that age vintage look. I think a lot of people do love that age vintage look. And it goes great with so many pairs of shoes, so many colorways. For this aging customization or aging service, whatever you want to call it, I used Foxtrot Uniform Sneaker Stainer. Uh, I used the cream color one. They came out with a sale one not too long ago, so I definitely want to get my hands on that. It's supposed to be a lighter version of this, so I want to try them both out. I need to order another sneaker stainer uh, in the cream colorway also. I ran out. But this was a fun one, especially because I was thinking about giving this shoe up. Uh, I need a downsize on shoes. I'm getting way too many, so I was just going to give it away. But then I'm like, yo, I like that look, and this is just triple white. I could play around and do whatever the fuck I want with it. So I did that. I'm digging these, and like I said, guys, the laces. Laces are a whole game in themselves. Lace swaps can change a shoe sock game can change a shoe let me know what you guys think in the comments below did i do a good job did i do a bad job i mean i think it looks good that's all that matters but i still want to hear from you guys because i love hearing your feedback and let me know what you guys thought of today's video do you guys like the vlog and unboxing combination it won't always be like this i will do two separate videos that's the schedule I, I like doing because i have a certain setup for it as always thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in Make sure to check me out on Instagram at Sports and Sneakers 2021. Thank you for supporting the channel. Leave a like, share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I got more content like this, more sneaker customization videos coming soon. I have more stuff, like I said, that I've been working on right now. I do sneaker unboxings and reviews in case you guys are thinking about purchasing a certain shoe. And I also vlog if you're interested in the Chicago lifestyle 
And don't miss that podcast, Sports and Sneakers podcast, if you guys are into sports talk or sneaker talk. I do sneaker Saturdays and MMA Mondays. The MMA Mondays are not strictly limited to MMA. We talk football, we talk basketball, we talk baseball, we get into random conversations, sometimes about WWE and stuff like that, or boxing. And all this is really fun, man. All these videos and these podcasts, it's all really fun to do. The sneaker customizing stuff, I really enjoy doing this stuff. My main goal is to make this a full-time career for me. But if that doesn't work out, I'm happy with just doing it as a hobby and hopefully bringing value to you guys on how to do some customizations or sneaker reviews for purchases. If you guys were thinking about purchasing a, a certain sneaker and I review it and you're like, uh, well, I thought twice about that. Now I don't want it. Or now, damn, that looks dope. Now I do want it. And before I go, shout out to our two sponsors for these videos and my podcast, Razor Sharp Martial Arts in Alsip, Illinois. That's the gym that... I'm about to go to uh, pretty soon. And Patrick Pendleton, DDS in Western Springs, Illinois. I'll leave links to their Facebook page and website in the description down below. Definitely go check them out. Till next time, guys. I'll see you next Friday. Peace. Oliver, what'd you do? What'd you do? Is that a shit over there?